Hey traders, Steve here from Jackrabbit Trader, and in this video we're going to take a look at the markets and sectors for Saturday, November 2nd, 2019. We talked last week about us pushing up against resistance, and this week we blew right through it. So let's start first with our market cycles, and we've been in a green market cycle uh, since early October here on the 12th. You can see that we cl uh, closed over the 21-day moving average exponential moving average after a long period about a month or so of uh, pullback and being contained underneath that 21 day exponential moving average which is this blue line here and we'll actually go ahead and just make it a little bit thicker so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about all right so we closed above that and ever since we've been in a green market cycle where we want to add risk follow the market higher uh, not really look to hedge anything and wait until we start to cross back under the eight day moving average which we haven't done uh, that's the white line we haven't done that since the 12th okay many tests of it but never crossing back below it all right so that would be our first signal that things are starting to change and then obviously when we cross below the 21 day moving average then we change to a red market cycle and we stop taking trades look to hedge look to take profits as quickly as possible uh, but right now we're in a green market cycle, which means we're going to let the market run as long as it's going to. Uh, but with the move this week, we actually are uh, in a breakout pattern. So we've talked pretty extensively about this broadening pattern over the last uh, few months. But what I'm really looking at now is essentially a weekly breakout. Okay, out of this consolidation right here. So you can see we came up to 302, pulled back, came up to 302, pulled back. And here we are now, we broke right up through it this week. All right, so now that leads us to where do we go from here? And obviously, you know, in this video, we're gonna do uh, some analysis and see where that may be. So the first thing that we can potentially look at is a quick little uh, extension a Fibonacci, Fibonacci extension a lot of traders use but essentially what that is is we're gonna take the lows to the highs measure the pullback and the first level that comes up is gonna be that 311 uh, area okay so essentially from this low to the high back to the low where do we extend out to okay that's the 311 area you could also do it from these lows here back to here and that brings us up to the 326 level okay but really what I'm looking at on this chart if I can get back to it is just a simple measured move and what that means is from the highs of this box to the lows is about 17 or 18 points Okay, we'll cancel that right extension so we can use this and I'll show you exactly what we're talking about here so we can change this to a different color let's just make it purple and make it pretty thick so we can see it so essentially this move here okay which is from the bottom of the box to the top or essentially the top and bottom of the consolidation if we now extrapolate that same trend line from the breakout where does that bring us right around that 320 area so that was kind of in same line of that one Fibonacci extension but realistically with this breakout you know this market should see this 320 area now again please note that these are all predictions and we really have to treat the market on its own merit but if this were a stock breaking out what would we do just as any other trade we would be setting a stop down here at the 284 level and looking for it to run as long as it possibly can and that's what I would say we're gonna do with the market itself right see where this goes obviously breaking back under 302 is a little concerning all right that would be the first maybe sign that maybe this breakout is not really a true breakout maybe People got trapped up here. Now they're going to be looking to sell back under 302. So I would watch the 302 level. If that starts to break um, and we start ending up back in this consolidation pattern, then the next level 
you know that we want to be keep an eye on is going to be this 284 285 level all right so just remember we are breaking out after about a what is this this is july early july so just about a four month um consolidation here and now a breakout to the upside all right and again if we were treating it like any other stock there you go there's your consolidation breakout and see where it runs so that's the weekly let's take a look at it on the daily you can see that as we said you know just running along that eight day exponential moving average okay right here so from a technical perspective same idea you know we had four days that it held 302 then finally here on friday uh, november 1st broke out above that range so again it's just a very simple uh, trend following exercise where we're going to just continue to see if we ever get a close you know back under this 304 level uh, 304.71 and get back underneath that fill this small gap and then maybe head back to 302 see how it had see how it acts at 302 but you know looking at it on the daily chart you have this upward momentum this upward channel in play and if we look at where that top of that channel is we're right around that 315 level all right so that would be where i would start to maybe get a little cautious of maybe we want to roll back over but all signs right now you know on friday market finished up 27 points strong day obviously the first of the month but all signs really pointing to this market looking for a little bit of a run especially that you have the weekly breakout which is so key in everything that we do here at jackrabbit trader so no different here on the on the spy as it is any other stock let's look at the cues real quick you know go through those real quick real quick but essentially you have the same you know uptrend in place and consolidation break out to the upside right forget about what it is if, if you're just trading the, the chart pattern here we are 181.62 would be our stop <clears throat> the dia the diamonds the dow right up against resistance but a much tighter consolidation okay again looking for that breakout to the upside so while we do say that the range is between 255 and 273 if we were trading this like any other stock, the 265 level would be pretty critical for the diamonds. And last but not least, the IWM. All right, this has just been in a sideways trend for some time. But again, you can see how we're testing each side of the support and resistance levels. Okay, each side of the box. But now here we are maybe breaking a bit of a downtrend line, keeping this uptrend in place. So let's see how the, this week handles 158.50, okay? But realistically, over 158.50, you know, 173 would be back to the highs. And as I said, all the other uh, are looking to break to new highs. So that's always a positive when the markets are all kind of in sync, all looking to break out. You know, as I said last week, we're getting into the holiday season, uh, into earnings season, typically a bullish period for stocks. Um, so, you know, we're kind of lining up for maybe a good run into the end of the year. But again, that's solely a prediction. Uh, we'll see what happens next week with the markets. Uh, but we want to obviously be, you know, not just blindly throwing money into the market because we feel like it's going to be, uh, you know, projecting upward. Right. That's obviously what it looks like for now. But if anything changes and again, when we start to maybe fail under these support, you know, these recent resistance, which has become new support levels. And then I think we need to uh, change our tune a little bit. So here we are. Uh, let's take a quick look through the sectors. And again, uh, first column is the percent change over the last seven days. The second column percent change over the last 30 days. And you can see SPY uh, over the last seven days up 2.09%. And over the last 30 days, 264 and then we have the XLB, all right? We talked real quick last week, but basically in a range coming up to that 59.15 level. So let's see how it reacts there. Um, but kind of following suit, strong move off the lows at 55. The XLE, all right? Remember we talked about how these uh, this sector is pretty much in a downtrend. While it is having some pops to the upside, this did close lower on the week, all right? And has been lower about by 3%. 
over the last 30 days. So definitely one of the underperformers uh, from the SPY. So we always want to try and be in the outperformers. The XLF breaks out to the upside, right? We talked about that. We're looking for that $29.70 or even $30 level on the XLF and a lot of names you know, that we're in. Uh, in the Jackrabbit Club, JPM, STI, all really running nicely. XLI, new breakout here in the XLI. So the industrials, okay, pushing up against all-time highs right here around the uh, 80 to 80, you know, but just about the 80 level. All right, so we have that, that little bit of a resistance there, but again, very strong move there. The XLK, wow, look at this. XLK was up 4.85%, up 5.5% for 30 days. And there you go, your tech names, right? Going into the holiday season, usually outperform. Not surprising that XLK is moving as well as it is considering the move Apple's had over the last uh, four or five weeks. You know, man, really, really missed that one, unfortunately. Uh, you know, but here is basically your breakout right around that 213 level and now trading 255 and I'm just continuing higher, you know, almost parabolic. So this thing is moving quick. Uh, XLK following suit, you know, nice new breakout to all time highs. XLP. Still in that range between $61.50 and $60, so not really much doing there. And not surprising, right? With the Staples names, you would think, you know, those are really a, a flight to safety. Um, so not too much in the way of uh, breaking out when the market is tearing uh, to the upside. XLU, same there, you know, utilities, flight to safety, uh, no real safety needed as of right now. XLV, here we go. You know, XLV, we talked last week about this range between 92 and 88. Uh, now we have a breakout over this little pennant pattern. Next stop, and the, you know, funny again, look where it came right up to that 9580, which is previous highs from back in October and November of last year. But XLV picking up steam, that's the, uh, the healthcare names. And last but not least, XLY, which should start to outperform, you know, again, going into the holiday season. But I would be looking at these levels here between 118.80 and about 123. And then obviously you have some resistance at 124, but, you know, see where those go. But if we sort by performance over the last uh, seven days, you'll see that the XLK, XLI, XLB and XLV all outperform the SPY this week. And if we go to the 30 days, it's same thing. XLK, XLF, which are the financials. So they're good to see those picking up steam. The XLV and the XLI all outperforming. So this is a good chart to have just to see you know where you're at, uh, which sectors are really moving. And as I said, you know, knowing now that the XLK is pretty much breaking to new highs, then when I go to look at my uh, trades for this week, which we'll do in the next video. And when we eventually give those trades out to members and start managing them in the Jackrabbit Club video, uh, we're going to gear ourselves towards some technology names as long as it keeps us diversified, right? We, we're going to have some, uh, you know, we want to be putting our money into those outperforming stocks and sectors. So that's it for this one. All right. If you guys uh, have any questions, definitely leave a comment, shoot me an email. Um, but if you're looking at more for more information on how we proceed uh, with the trading the weekly chart, head on over to jackrabbittrader.com slash weekly process and you can get our free e-course and check that out and that'll give you all the information you need. And of course, you can join us in the Jackrabbit Club, which is our premium membership site that basically looks over my shoulder on every trade that I make. So uh, other than that, have a great rest of the weekend. Catch the next video for the weekly trade setups. And then if you want to become a member, then head on over to jackrabbittrader.com slash membership and join us in the Jackrabbit Club. Other than that, have a great rest of the weekend and we'll talk to you next week. Take care.